Kaoru Mitoma is the latest football gem Brighton has unearthed this season. The club has a knack for introducing these amazing players from nowhere. Before this season, no one knew about this guy. But now, we're learning all about him. But trust me, you still don't know it all. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Kaoru Mitoma. First of all, he chose university over a professional football contract. Before he began to bang in goals and assists, Mitoma did something very few people in the world would ever do. The dude turned down a pro football contract to go to university. I mean, who does that? I can barely turn down a slice of pizza, let alone a pro footballing contract. But Mitoma had bigger plans. He enrolled at the University of Tsukuba in 2016 to hit the books and improve himself physically and mentally. And you know what? It worked. This guy not only had skills on the pitch, but he's also got brains to match. Defenders are really in trouble whenever they go up against Mitoma. And you know the best part? While he was at uni, he was also working on his football skills. Talk about killing two Two birds with one stone. That's like playing FIFA while studying for an exam. Um, wait, don't try that at home, kids. But then, wait till you find out what Mitoma was doing in university. If you watch Mitoma play, you notice one thing. This guy is a sick dribbler. But here's the thing. It's not just because he's a natural talent. He actually studied the art of dribbling in school. Oh, yes. Remember he chose uni over a pro contract? Well, in school, he actually did his thesis on dribbling. Yeah, you heard that right. This dude chose dribbling as his thesis topic and he did proper research on the topic while playing for the university football team he got his teammates to help him out with the project he put cameras on the heads of his guys as they were playing in order to study the movements of their opponents and see where they were looking that's some next level research man premier league defenders better watch out because they're going up against a guy who not only has mad skills but also did his homework on how to beat them can you imagine being in a 1v1 situation with mitoma it's like going up against a boss level in FIFA, but surely his insane footballing abilities are not entirely due to his studying. He also has his parents to thank because he comes from a family of sporting heritage. His dad was a track and field athlete while his mom used to play volleyball professionally back in the day. Talk about sports running in the blood. His older brother also played football, but he later dropped it and guess what he did? He went into the entertainment industry. Yes, Kaoru Mitoma is the brother of a big actor in Japan. His name is Yuki Gosei. Now, Ah, this family is like the Kardashians of Japan, except they're way cooler. Um, that is if you're more into football than celebrity gossip. Like I just said, Yuki Gosei used to play football just like his little bro, but he never went pro. Instead, he went and became an actor. <laughs> Talk about a career pivot, am I right? Right now, he's absolutely killing it in the entertainment industry. In addition to being an actor, he's also a model and he's got that whole smoldering good looks thing going on. It's crazy how much talent runs in this family, man. I mean, Kaoru is dominating Japanese football football while his brother dominates Japanese television. They're like the ultimate power siblings, these two. Anyway, let's go back to focusing on Midoma. We'll soon get to how he almost single-handedly destroyed a European powerhouse. But for now, do you know what his favorite food is? It's yakiniku and noodles. Um, this is surely not exactly what the pros would recommend, but it's what Midoma loves and it's what fuels him. You see, Midoma has a love affair with meat. This dude is all about that protein life. His favorite dish is yakiniku, which is basically a fancy Japanese grilled meat dish that'll make your taste buds go wild. But to really enjoy yakiniku, you have to pair it with some really spicy noodles. I mean, who needs a Cristiano Ronaldo diet when you could just whip up some meat and noodles in your kitchen and still take the Premier League by storm, right? Now, we're not saying that Mitoma's diet is what the pros would call optimal for an athlete. But hey, the guy is scoring goals left and right, isn't he? Who are we to judge what the man eats then? Oh, and let's not forget, Mitoma also has a thing for Belgian fries and mussels. Uh-oh, that combo can be a little hazardous, though, if you catch my drift. Anyway, what if I told you that the year you got to find out about Mitoma was actually not the year that Brighton signed him? Many of us just got around to knowing Mitoma in 2022, but he had actually been a Brighton player since 2021. Oh yes, the English club had long discovered him from Kawasaki Frontal and even put pen to paper in 2021, securing his services for the next four years. But they quickly sent him out on loan to Belgium. Now you see where his love for Belgian fries came from, right? Over at the Belgian league, Mitoma scored eight goals and provided four assists in 29 games, including a hat trick in the comeback win over Saring after coming on as a sub. Brighton saw that and immediately decided he was going to be their guy going into the 2022-23 season. And boy was that smart. In August, he made his debut against Newcastle. At first, he was nothing more than a squad player, but then Leandro Trossard fell out with the 
coach, and Midoma finally got his chance to shine. And shine he did. In his first start in the Premier League against Chelsea, he helped his team win 4-1, getting an assist to his name. And in the next game against Wolves, he scored his first goal for Brighton. Since then, he's been killing it constantly on the pitch. Now, he's already the highest scoring Japanese in a single Premier League season. And we're talking about a league where the likes of Shinji Kagawa, Takumi Minamino, and Shinji Okazaki have played in. Absolutely crazy. I wouldn't put him past him to become the highest scoring Japanese of all time in Premier League history. He surely can do it, this guy. After all, he was the reason Japan made it to the 2022 World Cup. Oh yeah. See, the road to the 2022 World Cup was rougher than usual for Japan. They started off real slow in the qualifiers, and they nearly didn't make it to Qatar. But then they had this must-win game against Australia, and it was like a real-life game of Jenga, where one wrong move and it would have all been over. The game was really tough. Japan held their own and were playing out a goalless draw. But here's the thing, they needed to win, not draw. It was 86 minutes on the clock, and the game was still tied at nil-nil. So, the coach decided to just throw in Mitoma, who was still yet to score for his country. I'm not sure the coach and the fans had so much faith in him, but Mitoma came in, and just three minutes after his introduction, he scored the first goal of the game. Absolutely bonkers. The crowd went really wild, not knowing that Mitoma had an encore prepared for them. He added another goal in additional time, and sent the Japanese fans into a frenzy. The game ended 2-0, both goals courtesy of Mitoma, who played less than 10 minutes that day. This dude literally sent his country to the World Cup with his first ever international goals. Of course, after a performance like that, his place in the World Cup was secured, and there in Qatar, he performed more wonders for Japan. He annihilated Spain with one of the greatest moments of the entire tournament. There were many iconic moments at the 2022 World Cup, but this one stood out as one of the more unforgettable ones. You remember that goal Japan scored against Spain in the final round of group stage games, don't you? Yes, the one that caused a lot of controversy because everyone thought the ball had initially crossed the line. Well, guess who was behind that ball? Yep, our man, Kaoru Mitoma. So many players would have just let that ball roll out, but not Mitoma, never Mitoma. He stretched and struggled to put that cross in, and even though it took VAR a crazy amount of time to contemplate, they eventually ruled it as a goal. And it was that goal that put Japan top of their group ahead of two former World Cup winners, Spain and Germany. Damn, who would have thought? But now, even with all the bragging rights he has and all he has done for himself in such a short amount of time, Mitoma still leads a different lifestyle from many other footballers. He isn't flashy at all. This guy is a rising football star who has been crushing it in the world of football over the past year. He comes from a family of celebrities, and he's loved and respected very much in his country, but he still lives a very modest life. You won't catch Mitoma driving a fancy sports car, nor would you catch him getting wasted at the club or at parties. He prefers a simple life, spending most of his time practicing and perfecting his football skills. When he's not practicing, he's probably hanging out with his friends and family. What a lad, man. Anyway, what do you think is next for Kaoru Mitoma? A move to a bigger club? Breaking more records? Let us know in the...